to Cadinia Park now for the Geelong Carlton game. Two sides battling for a place in the five, with Carlton fifth holding a game and percentage advantage over their hosts of this afternoon. Last week, under lights at the MCG, the Blues displayed possibly their best form for the season when they slaughtered one of the league's new glamour sides in North Melbourne. Geelong, as most of their supporters will tell all those that care to listen, kicked themselves out of the game last week against Footscray. Gary Ablett, one of the main contributors, or should I say offenders, when he kicked five goals, ten. Carlton, though, have a superb record against the Cats. They've won 25 out of their last 33 meetings since 1970, including their last two at Cadinia Park, and they won by 72 points at Princes Park in round four. Sandy Roberts and Bob Skilton are our commentators, and we join the match at the 11-minute mark of the third quarter, Geelong leading by one point. Centre bounce once again. Matt, free kick against Lee. Sheldon. And Sheldon has given the way, as Bobby has said, so Burt to put the Cats into attack again. Well, can they get a run on here and steal a break towards the half-forward line? Here's the opportunity. The mark's been taken by Paul Couch. Now we go with that left foot and go long. In towards full court. Ablett and Alvin at the back. Ablett uses the body and has lost it again. Well, he's having a frustrating day, Robert. This is causing a bit of it himself, though, Sandy. Mm. Here's the kick from Alvin to the outer side. Couch is there again. So he'll go short this time into half forward. Out came Terry Bright, couldn't take it. Melvin was away and the Blues are out of strike. Across the ground, Convoy, two attempts to take it, can't get it. Murphy was manhandled. A loose ball comes out now and it's picked up by Neil. Neil goes towards half forward and counts once again on his own. Well, in three minutes of football, Couch has had about five kicks. Easily gets around Dean. And the long left foot kick in towards the forward area, but the long arms of Justin Madden up they reach and take an easy mark. Madden, what a good looking kick. Bounces awkwardly. Bounces awkwardly for Burke as well. Chewy coming through to lend support. Gets the hand pass in. It's taken by Whitcomb and puts it out wide. Neil there. The left foot kick from Neil. Too high. Silvani couldn't take the mark. Recovered well to give it out to Road. Road caught one too high. But Blackwell now playing on. Blackwell's kick. Looking for McKenzie. McKenzie takes a nice mark. So Warren McKenzie. One goal to his credit. That kicked in the first quarter. And McKenzie. Well within kicking distance. Been in and out, Bob. You think he can cement a place in this Carlton side? I doubt very much, Sandy. So McKenzie now. Nice looking kick, but he's hooked it. And it's up through by Burke. And so, one point. Carlton scores 11. 8-5 to 7-11. 53 points apiece. Reed to come short from fullback. Finds Bolton. Bolton plays on immediately, but he's got Whitcomb waiting for that one. Murray Whitcomb now from half back flank towards centre wing. Two he's there but can't take the mark. In fact, it's out on the full, and the kick will be taken wide by Peter Rowe. 12 minutes played, third term. Had to take a punt, Bobby. Who do you think is travelling the best at the moment? Carlton or Geelong? I don't think either side are travelling. Uh, real well at the moment Sandy neither one of them can really get a break and both defences on top and I think if either side can gain a couple of quick